it's really warm in my room. Um, I, for whatever reason, just decided to wear a hoodie, but uh, that was not a good choice. But you know, we're here and we're just gonna make it work. Hello everyone and welcome to a new cosplay help how to FAQ video, whatever you want to call it. Today I'm going to be talking about a very highly requested topic and that is body paint. I get a lot of questions regarding body paint, especially ever since I started cosplaying has been and hell of a boss. So I decided it would probably be beneficial to just make a whole video talking about what products I use, what techniques I use. Um, etc etc so that is what we are going to be doing today but before we get into things we actually have a sponsor for today's video today's video is sponsored by idle miner tycoon idle miner tycoon is a mobile simulation game that takes you through the exciting journey of becoming an industrial tycoon by building your mining empire this is a great choice for right now because obviously we're all still in quarantine we're all still social distancing a lot of us are looking for new things to keep us entertained keep us occupied and idle miner tycoon is a great choice because there are tons of awesome features that offer long lasting entertainment. For example, there are weekly mine events, meaning that every week you have a new event mine to explore. You can explore different continents within the game. You're able to level up basically everything in the game. So everything from coal shafts to warehouses to elevators. There are tons of different characters to collect and you can unlock different skins for all characters in the game. So obviously there are a whole bunch of features that will keep you entertained. So I definitely recommend checking it out if you're looking for something new and fun and entertaining uh, to do while you're in quarantine. If you are interested in checking out Idle Miner Tycoon, I will have a link down in the description for you to check it out. And a huge thanks to Idle Miner Tycoon for sponsoring today's video. All of that said, let's get into today's video. This is my little guide to body paint. A few disclaimers before I get into things. I am not sponsored by any of the like makeup products that I will be talking about in this video. These are all ones that I've bought with my own money and ones that I genuinely like. And I will also say that I am not an expert on body paint by any means. I'm not a makeup artist or anything. Um, so everything that I say is not, I'm not saying that that's like the be all end all. I'm just um, sharing what I personally do when it comes to body paint. So um, that said, let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about are the actual products that I use for painting myself. So the paint that I use um, specifically is the Ben Nye FX Cream Color paint. This is the one I use for my Charlie. This is the one I use for my Millie. Previous to this, I've used water-based paints and I actually started using these paints because they were suggested to me by my roommate who is actually a certified makeup artist. And I have to say, after using cream paint, I do not want to go back to water activated paint. This is definitely my preference. And I've been incredibly, incredibly happy with these. Just overall, they're much easier to apply. They're not nearly as time consuming. They have really good coverage and they stay on really well throughout the day. There's not really any noticeable wear, which is an issue that I did have with water-based paints. So these are definitely my personal preference. Everybody's preference is different though. Just because that's my preference doesn't mean that it will be like the best product for everyone. Some people prefer water-based paint just because of how it reacts to their skin. So do keep that in mind, but I've personally have been incredibly happy with these and I'm again definitely never going back to water-based paint because for me these these have been great. So for the actual application I first put on a makeup primer and then I apply the actual body paint with a beauty blender. Some people prefer to use a brush. I personally have been really happy with the beauty blender. I found it to be the easiest method of application. Again, the preference between brush versus sponge slash beauty blender is really going to change depending on the person. So just again, just because I prefer beauty blenders doesn't necessarily mean that you all watching will find that to be the easiest method. So it's good to try out both and see which one you like better. But I personally have been really, really happy with using a beauty blender for both cream based and water based paints. Then when it comes to sealing, I do this layer by layer. So I'll put down the first layer of body paint and then I'll go over it with this Ben Nye powder. This is the super white, which I use obviously for my white body paint, but if I'm using the red, I'll use their translucent powder. And I just apply that using a big fluffy brush. I put it on very, very generously. And then once that's done, I'll go over and spritz it with Ben Nye Final Seal. Mine is super old, as you can see, so the logo's wearing off, but this is the Ben Nye Final Seal Matte Makeup Sealer. I also use this on my regular makeup and I absolutely, absolutely love it. So this is a good thing to get, not only just for body paint, but you can also use it for everyday makeup. So I spritz that over top and then let it dry. And then from there, I'll apply my next Next layer and then repeat that sealing process until I get a coverage that I'm happy with. I don't know, I usually do two layers, maybe two and a half layers, and it goes on really easily. Again, I've, I've 
found using cream paint has been really easy to apply. And that's really all there is to it when it comes to the actual painting part. So that is what I do to specifically paint my face. I don't usually paint the rest of my body. Back when I cosplayed Lapis from Steven Universe, I would paint my entire body with the help of a very patient assistant. And this typically took around three hours. So that's definitely something that I'm never going back to after that experience. So when it comes to covering parts of your body that aren't the face, I like to use as many hacks as I possibly can. To color my legs, I will just use either tights or leggings. Tights are by far the better one just because they have a tendency to like wrinkle and crease less as you're wearing them. However, in the case of my Raven, I did go for leggings for two reasons. The first one was because I wasn't comfortable having something as sheer as tights on my legs. I want something thicker to cover them just because she has that V-cut bodysuit. And so I wanted a method that would be a little bit more modest. And also just because color matching tights to my body paint was quite challenging and I just had better luck finding leggings that would match. But for the most part, you always want to go with tights wherever you can. For example, I always wear simple white tights whenever I cosplay 1920s Charlie. When it comes to hands, I also have a separate method. Wherever I can, I like to use what I call body paint gloves. This is a method that I started doing when I first cosplayed Raven. Just because she has long sleeves, I was able to do this. So these are just really tight fitting gloves that I made using stretchy fabric and I just sewed them to be as tight as possible. And then I stuck some fake nails on them. So from a distance, it looks like my hand but obviously up close it is a glove these looked really good in photos and they made things just a whole lot easier just because obviously painting your hands is just really inconvenient since you're gonna be touching things it's gonna wear off really easily and you don't want to risk transferring paint from your hands onto whatever you're touching and they're just really easy whenever i need to i could just slip them on and off so i found these to be really really handy when it came to these particular gloves i couldn't find a shade of gray that actually matched my body paint so what i did to color them is i just took some gray acrylic paint and i just watered it down a whole bunch just so that when the paint dried it wouldn't be really really brittle and I just gradually built up each layer until it got to a shade that I was happy with and I've been incredibly happy with this method I think it looks really good in photos and it's just really functional obviously if I need to take them off I can just easily take them off it's much easier than having painted hands or using arm socks um, but obviously this is a method that you can only use if the character has long sleeves then when it comes to the arms and the chest there are a couple of ways that you can do that the best way by far is to use arm socks and I have these awesome photos that my friend Nicole supplied. Thank you so much, Nicole. Arm socks are basically, it's kind of like a shirt, but it's made out of a pair of tights and the feet of the tights are basically sewn into gloves. And you just slip this on and it basically looks like painted skin, but it's just nylons. Like I said, this is by far the best method. It looks the best in photos. It doesn't wrinkle a whole lot and it just kind of imitates the look of skin the best if that that sounds really weird and kind of creepy but you know what i mean it just kind of looks like the most natural the only downside is that it is very pricey especially if you're in canada getting them shipped to canada when it comes to shipping charges and conversion it gets to be really really expensive so unfortunately that is not a method that i have personally been able to use so i've kind of done my best with sort of the more cost effective option which is to use um body suits so this is one that i made for millie this is actually a shirt that just hooks into the leggings what i did is I bought some lycra and I just made this really really tight fitting shirt as you can see I have all of her like little spots painted on there and this is just what I wear whenever I cosplay her like I said the upside to this method is that it is much more cost effective the fabric that I bought for this was maybe like four or five dollars a meter so a lot cheaper than arm socks would be it's also more durable than arm socks arm socks since they are made out of tights they have a tendency to pill and rip and get stained a lot easier just with how nylons typically are but the downside is that it does not unfortunately look as good in photos obviously you have more seams um, and it tends to wrinkle a lot especially around the elbows so it doesn't necessarily look as good but if you're looking for a budget friendly option it definitely does the job again i've done this for the vaggy cosplay that i made that was just a v-cut bodysuit and then like i said this one that i made for millie and even though it's not as good as arm socks are i have been very happy with it and like i said it does the job um, for a fraction of the cost so that's a little overview of what I do when it comes to body paint. I hope that all made sense. I hope that was helpful. If you guys have any body paint tips or tricks, or if you have um, any products that you personally like using, please, by all means, share that in the comments. I would love to have a little conversation going about that. I know that body paint can be really daunting if you're just starting out, but don't worry. Um, as long as you practice, get really familiar with it, it will be a lot easier. Um, but to some extent, even no matter how seasoned you are doing body paint for cosplay, it can be an, a bit of an ordeal for everyone. So don't worry we're all in the same boat 
and the most important thing is just to practice and get get used to it that is my advice i hope that is helpful so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today again if you want to check out idlemeyer tycoon to have something fun to keep you entertained during quarantine i will have a link down in the description and uh yeah thank you guys so much i will see you guys all next time but until then kind of faces please be sure to take care bye